Hello everybody. It's a wonderful time to begin a new topic with active and passive voice. But what is active and passive voice? Do we really know what this is all about? Let me play a game with you all first. Let's see what the game is all about first and then we'll come back to active and passive. Suppose I give you a sentence which is Ronit plays the drum. Now the game here is you have to move this side to this side and this side to this side. But what side am I talking about? Well, let me tell you more in a little bit more in detail. Let's pick up the subject of a sentence. What is the subject of a sentence? The main doer of the sentence. So, which is the doer of the sentence? Ronit. Ronit is our subject. Now, what is he playing? Which is the object? Object is the thing on which the action is being done. The drum. This is our object. Right? And this is our, let me just write the full thing. Subject. Something done by a subject and it is being done on the object. But, which is the verb here? Yes, this is the verb. So, my game was bringing the object this side, this side and subject that side. Right? We'll have to change this verb accordingly, whichever way it suits after fitting in the object. Now, once the object comes this side, it becomes the subject of our sentence. Let's see what that becomes completely. Ronit plays the drum. So, we bring the drum here. The drum. And like I put Ronit this side. Is that it? Well, no. We need to complete the sentence. Let me just keep my pens and show it to you now. The drum, Ronit. And if suppose if we leave plays here, what does the sentence become? The drum plays Ronit. Is that actually possible? How can drum play somebody? Somebody can play the drum, right? So we need to change this part a little bit. The drum is played by... By whom is it played? By Ronit? That's what we did, right? So we've moved our subject as the object and our object as the subject. See, the drum has now become our subject. And Ronit, which was the object uh, subject here, has now become the object this side. Right. So don't you think this is going to be a fun game? Why fun? Because there are so many different kind of tenses in which we are going to move them from this side to that side, from that side to this side. Now, when we have the main person, the doing, or the person who does the thing, the subject in the beginning here, that the main person doing is in the beginning that is a sentence of active voice an active voice sentence is when the main doer of the sentence is in the beginning of the sentence and if we change the main doer when we change it this side when the person doing the main doer of the sentence moves this side that becomes the passive voice okay coming back to our different tenses now let's pick up the different kinds of tenses and then see what the game is all about. To begin with, let's do present tense. Active passive with present ones. Simple present ones. Let's see what we can pick up with the simple present tense. Simple present tense. Okay. Now suppose I give you a sentence in the simplest form, let's say the monkey scratches uh, or maybe let me give you an even more simpler one. One is she respects us. This is our sentence. She respects us. Right? What is our subject and object here? She is the subject. Us is the object and respects is the verb and how do we move it here to there 
we are moving a little bit of uh, that part of the sentence object now becoming subject subject now becoming the object so that comes this side and it becomes uh, instead of us us respects uh, she no doesn't sound well at all so what does it become we are present form because it's present tense we are and when we need to change the verb it will always be in the past participle form whenever we change from active to passive voice the verb there will change into past participle form so we are and respected ed form see and this r shows the present form so we are respected by whom are we respected since it's she it becomes her had it been he respects us so we are respected by him but here we have she so we are respected by her suppose i pick up a, a question here and give the question to you as what do you want suppose my question is what do you want and a question mark don't forget your question marks even in the passive form we have to keep the question mark there and want want is a verb we need to change that verb here into the past participle ed form we'll keep that question same what now want we need to bring want to this side what and we need present tense so be careful with the present tense so what is this shows our present tense but ed form of the uh, verb what is wanted by you and of course the question mark let's not forget that i hope this is clear simple present form the simplest sentence uh, subject goes there as an object object comes this side as the subject and verb changes into past participle form of the verb right similarly if we have a question and we need to change that a simple present uh, form question and we need to change that to a passive form one we keep that to a question we cannot change that into an answer or something so it becomes what is why is because it is present what is wanted by you and a question mark there absolutely not to forget our punctuation marks so this was about the simple present tense how about simple continuous tense let's have a sorry present continuous yes simple present tense and now we can pick up present continuous tense what are the basic things that we require for a continuous tense let's have a look at that quickly now we are going to begin with present continuous tense right let's see what we have in present and then continuous as you know present is uh, we are talking about the present form and continuous will always have an ing whenever we have a continuous tense we will always always have an ing with the verb right now let me give you an example with a simple sentence first and then a question sentence then right the simple sentence with present continuous form is tom is building a house suppose i give you tom is building a house now if you see is is the present form and build is the verb ing continuous form so what is this present continuous form this is the active voice why active because we have the doer tom in the very beginning itself right and what is uh, he building a house what is the action being done upon the house so now the game that we have bringing the house here bringing tom there let's see how it is done a house is we have to keep it to the same thing if it is present form it has to be kept in the present form itself a house is now you know what passive says if active has ing even i'm going to have ing with me so a house is being b e and then ing 
A house is being built. Now, B U I L T or D? Which one? Whenever we have a verb here, the past form of the verb will be used. A house is being built. Past form. By Tom. Right? So you see how Tom goes that side and a house comes in this side. We've done the change with a normal sentence of a present continuous form. Let me give you another sentence in the question form. The sentence is, what is Mohan doing? What is Mohan doing? And a question mark, of course. So now Mohan is going to go that side and something that is done is going to be this side. So what? let's see what it's going to be. We remain, keep the question to what itself, what that remains the same, what is, now again present form so we have to keep that is, what is now as I told you passive is a little jealous of active, if active has ing I will also have it. So what is being, b-e-i-n-g, being done, by whom, by Mohan, see. That's a simple game that you have to follow. If you have an ing in the active, you're going to have an ing in the passive also. In which form? Being. Generally, the word being is added to get that ing. Present, because it's a present continuous that we are doing. Right? One more quick example of a question. Why are you helping him? Let's see if we can follow this. Why are you helping him. Now this is another question where it begins uh, the question word here it begins with a Y and let's see what the answer or the passive form is going to be. We keep the question uh, word here the same Y. Now we want present is why are you helping him? So this is going to be why is him changes here to he why is he being being and then the past participle of the verb here why is he being helped by you who is helping him you so why is he being helped by you and of course not to miss the question mark out there right that is the easiest form of uh, game that we can play changing from active to passive Right? Normal present sentence we've been doing uh, a house, a present continuous, I'm sorry. A house is being built by Tom is the answer to Tom is building a house. House moves that side, Tom comes this side. Right? Similarly, in the question, we keep the question word the same and then we do the changes there. One more part of present perfect tense now. Let's pick up. So far, what, uh, what all did we do? We've done present, uh, simple present tense. We've just now done present continuous tense. And now we are going to do present perfect tense. Now, for present perfect tense, as the word says, perfect means it's just finished. Though in recent time, present, recently, that's just finished. So let's see what the verb, let's see the normal sentence first and what the form of the verb is in it okay the sentence for you is you have won a prize you have won a prize that's a normal sentence have is in the present form one that means recently you have won a prize one is the uh, past form of the verb but have shows your present perfect finished Changing this is going to be very easy again. Now we bring a prize. I'm sorry, I'm using the green one. It's a prize. Now present form. We need to keep that present form as the same thing. A prize has been. B double E N. So this is a thing which we have to remember very well. A prize has been won. By whom? by you right so that's a very easy change a prize has been won by you 
Let me give you a question sentence with this. Has he stolen your watch? Has he stolen your watch? Question mark. Now, in this case, what does it be? Let's see. Has remains this has. <clears throat> now, what do we do? Watch coming this side. Has your watch. What do we use again to finish it up in the past participle form? Been. What has your watch be? Sorry. Has your watch been stolen? By whom? By since it's he here. Has your watch been stolen by him? And of course your question mark, not to forget. Right? One more revision with a question mark, a question sentence. Let's see. Your sentence is, why have you missed the train? Why have you missed the train? Now, if you see here, the train is there, we need to bring the train this side and you will move that side. Keeping the question word the same, why have changes to has. Now, there we have the train, we bring it this side. Why has the train been missed? And you moves that side. Missed by you. Right. So, these were a few examples which I gave you with in the present form. <clears throat> First was simple present. Then we had present continuous. And finally, we had this one, which is present perfect. Right. Uh, in my other videos, I'll be doing the other ones also where we have our simple past and uh, about future, past and future ones are going to be in my different videos. The videos that are going to follow. So far, three kinds of tenses we've done in this video, in today's video. All the three are in the present form. That is simple present, present continuous and present perfect. Right? So, keep waiting for my next video where I'm going to do the past ones with you all. Thank you so much children.